Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Today we've got some new tailor-made irons uh, to try out today. These things are brand new. Uh, the tailor-made P7MB and the tailor-made P7MC. Two new players irons, they're very small, they're very compact. They're built for the better ball strikers out there. We have one right with, here with us, Thomas Campbell, uh, one of the better ball strikers in the state of Minnesota. Uh, Thomas, you're gonna hit some shots with both of these. Uh, I know you're very familiar with TaylorMade's iron lineup over the years. Now they're adding to it. What do you expect out of these two models? So firstly, I'm excited. These are the type of clubs that I like to play. Yeah. So I love looking down at clubs that don't have too much of an offset. Yeah. Um, I play like a combo set between cavity backs and blades. So it's yeah. going to be fun for me to test both, yeah. which is going to be really exciting. Um, I'm going to expect some probably consistent spin numbers, consistent carry numbers. A little bit more loft on the golf clubs and maybe not go quite as far as some, say, distance players' irons made compared to these. Yeah. But I'm going to expect consistency out of these clubs. I'm going to expect workability. Yeah. I'm going to expect it's going to do what I want it to do. Right. That's exactly what players' irons are supposed to deliver. You know, you, you, the better players swing more consistently, and so they expect better performance out of these other clubs here. So P7MB, I believe, is at 35 degrees of loft. P7MC is at 34, so that could... You know, we'll, show, we'll see a little bit of a difference there in the data, probably, uh, based on that. But, you know, the same golf shaft in each one, the stock KBS Tour 120S. Uh, we're going to hit probably a total of, what, 16 shots, eight with each one here. And I'm excited because, you know, TaylorMade's Tour staff boasts some of the best iron players in the world. You know, their, their staff has grown. I mean, Tiger Woods jumped over there a couple years ago. Recent PGA champion Kyle Morikawa is on there now, and you're going to see these irons in the bags of some of those tour staffers coming up here. So, these are built for some of the best players in the world. Thomas is going to try them out here. We're going to see how this data um, reflects what these irons can bring. Yeah, these are some really good looking clubs that I'm really excited to test it, and let's see how they perform. Okay, Thomas, looks like you're starting with the P7MC, 34 degrees of loft for the 7 iron. Uh, now, Taylor made you know, they've really ramped up that iron uh, development over the past few years, and this these additions to the P700 series definitely aimed at the better ball strikers. Yeah, definitely in the players category now, a little yeah. more cavity, a little more muscle back iron that yep. we're going to be testing here today. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Let's get started here. I'm excited to see this one. That felt good. Yeah, I'm sure the one of the calling cards of these irons is going to be the feel. Yeah. You know, um, straight, you know, forged, soft carbon steel. Like that's going to be prime feeling iron, right? Yeah, is what it is. Is not, nothing extra put in behind the club or anything like that. Uh, no extra juice. This is just pure, oh, yeah. pure blade. Mm -hmm. Well, this is technically the MC, so it's still yeah. not a pure pure blade but it definitely looks and the, feels like the material like is the same yeah. they just have they've constructed a little bit of a cavity in there for the further forgiveness which we'll look at here but yep that thing feels tremendous oh yes it does so now thomas what's that look like at a dress i mean i mean we know we've established players iron um compact head shape does anything else jump out at you i mean thinner top line for yeah. sure looks it's definitely not like a full-on blade you can definitely tell kind of from the heel to toe it's just a little larger profile yeah. okay but it's uh is a good looking club the, the top line you know can't go unnoticed that is a little bit sleeker for sure yeah yeah so yeah. very good looking clubs very good feel everything about it. I'm excited to hit the blade because yeah. you know, it's going to be a little sleeker look for sure. But. Yeah, well, let's get to yeah. that. Okay. How's that? That's good. Maybe like half a great, uh, half a groove too low on the face, but it was uh, it was good. This thing is pure. That was really nice. 
Now, looking down at it, do you notice a difference between the P7MB and the P7MC? Like, are you seeing difference in top line, difference in offset? Yeah, I do. Um, I talked about kind of heel to toe with the MC. Yeah. A little bit, maybe a little bit larger, maybe a couple more millimeters longer. Yeah. Um, okay. And then the top line is a little bit sleeker, but. It's funny when I now what I put down next to each other, I don't notice it as much. But you, you can definitely notice that the MB is just it's a, it's a pure blade. Yeah. So it's just a pure blade to look down at. Um, where this is, you see good looking ca good looking cavity back iron with the with the MC. Mm -hmm. and they both have that same feel. There's not really a difference you can tell not there. Not too much. They're both very soft, buttery like. The only time I notice is when shots like that, when I catch it a groove low. <laughs> Good thing it's not uh, the middle of, not early in the morning or <laughs> on a cold morning or anything oh, like that. Yeah. My hands would be sore a little bit. But other than that, it's, yeah, it, they feel very, very similar. Okay. So we'll, yeah. sit, we'll hit four more with each one and we'll see how it changes things. Yeah, and also talking on the, on the iron versus cavity or blades. Combo sets are always a, a great yes. option to kind of discuss there as well. I actually make the transition from a cavity back to a blade at my seven iron for my set. There you go. So I got four iron, five iron, six iron with a cavity and seven through wedge with blades. Yeah. And I know that you always talk about that transition should be made where you are, you know, when you stop going for the pin. Yeah. Right. You feel more you... comfortable going at the flag. So maybe that's where you're kind of making that transition. When you start maybe going 20 feet right or the left of the flag, playing towards the middle of the green. Yeah. That's when we maybe kind of just think about making that transition. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get back to the P7MC here and see how that impacts that a little bit more. Sounds good. Some, definitely something about hitting the blade when you yeah. when you're striping it. It's oh yeah, it feels, it feels on for sure. So. It feels as if that's how it should feel, right? That's how an iron <laughs> shot should feel. Yeah. That was eight shots. Eight shots. Okay. There's it was just on the circle. There's two that are right on top of each other. So I didn't know if you were uh, if we had seven or eight, but yeah, the data here. I think you're right about you know what's your rule? You usually say one degree of loft is about three ish yards. Carry. Yeah, one degree aloft is about three to four yards. Is what I usually what I like to. Kind well, of say. this is that's the very accurate because you got one seventy nine point six is the carry for the P seven MC one seventy six point oh the P seven MB. So I mean that's exactly <laughs> spot on. Yeah. Um, launch angle for both was the same fourteen and a half. Um, your height was very similar. Ball speeds are very similar. Spin was just a little bit higher with the P7MB. So, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna let you take this data, figure it out, and give me the fitter perspective here. But okay. I enjoyed watching these golf shots because the sound was just so perfect, so pure, and the dispersion and how close together they are. Like, they, those balls are within probably a 15 foot circle of each other out there. Makes it a little easier for us to pick up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Thomas, new tailor made players iron offerings P7MC, P7MB, you've hit both. You've got the data in front of you. What are you noticing? So, didn't take out a single shot. Just kept, I kept about eight, uh, eight shots of each club up there. Just kind of take a look at numbers and dispersion. If we're comparing dispersion, it's really going to be tough because both of them are very, very similar. Yeah. With me hitting into the wind out of the right, you'll notice these circles are just a little bit right of center. Now, yeah. this wind's also blowing 15, 20 miles an hour from right to left, so I'm trying to manipulate direction where I'm yeah. going towards a little bit here. So that's why it's showing 10 yards right. But yeah. you notice the consistency, that's more, what it come down to more important. Um, blue circle, ever so slightly right. smaller. So the, the P7MC, yeah. ever so slightly smaller. There is one that I did leave to the right with the, M, with the MC. Otherwise, there's a couple that are almost on top of each other. That's why you can't see as many blue dots on there. 
Um, so I'd say I may give the dispersion to the P7MC just okay. by a couple I, by a hair. I remember hair. I was looking at those circles. They are like very, very similar to each other. So yep. if, if there's a slight, slight advantage, it is like extremely slight is what I'm saying. Yeah. So very, very consistent. That's what I'm looking for out of yeah. a player's iron. So that's, that's important. Um, jump into numbers. So if we take a look at the numbers here, my club speed 90.1 and 89.5. So basically 90 miles an hour yeah. with each of each club here. So not really any difference. Um, ball speed was 126.1 to 124.9, so 1 1.2 yeah. miles an hour faster with the P7 MC. A little bit to deal with loft, <laughs> but there's right. one degree of loft difference between these between these two. Smash factor 140, 140, very, very good. Um, spin rate was 300 R RPMs less, just a little over 300 RPMs less with the P7MC than the okay. P7MB. Same thing, lofts 6400 versus 6700. So great, great numbers, kind of yeah. what I would expect out of seven iron with 34, 34 35 degrees of loft. Um, carry was separated by 3.6 yards. We kind of talked about that yeah. earlier. Every degree of loft is about three to four yards. Yeah. So pretty, pretty accurate right there. Um, these are basically the numbers that I'm looking for in my, in my golf game for sure. Yeah. Um, the height between the two of them were 91.9 and 90.4 into a little breeze. I'm going to hit it and hit a little more of a knockdown shot. Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good numbers. Um, right. Yeah, they are awesome golf clubs. So I don't know what else to say other than... <laughs> Great clubs. Now, yeah. the one thing I wanted to ask is, so I think there's maybe one or two that weren't quite on the center out there. Um, maybe one or two with each, uh, if I remember correctly, but they still performed well, they're still out there. Did you notice a difference in the forgiveness? Like, you know, you have the player's cavity, which it's still not gonna be a forgiving iron necessarily, but it, that cavity is there to provide a little bit of help if you do miss the center where the blade just doesn't really have that luxury. Did you notice a difference there at all? I did notice a difference. Now there's one here that I can kind of pull up here with the uh, M MB. I just clicked on it on the, on the table here. Um, it did go a little bit shorter and did spin just a little bit more on the one that I kind of miss hit a little bit. Actually the spin stayed down, um, but it did go a little shorter. Okay. So we'll notice that my carry distance dropped to 170.71.2. 170 point, 170.2. Okay. Everything else was kind of ranging 175 to 178. Okay. So I lost three or four yards essentially yeah. of carry distance by catching it about a groove lower yeah. on, on, on the face there. With the MC, you'll notice that my carry distance was a little bit more kind of consistent. The lowest carry distance was about one, 77 highest at 183 yeah so plus or minus yes forgiveness was just a little bit better with the p7 mc versus yeah. the p7 mp right i mean they're both players irons they're yep. both designed for kind of the better ball strikers out there but the mc may be offering a little bit more help when you miss the center there but again these are both no, the, the feel we talked several times during when you were hitting was exceptional. Uh, the sound, it just so muted and so clean, so pure. Uh, these, like you said, this is how, you know, this is what it should feel like when you're striping an iron. It should feel like this. Yeah. And so TaylorMade delivers that with the P7MC and the P7MB. At the other end of the spectrum, what I liked with the P7MC was that last one that I jumped on a little bit, carried 183. So it really wasn't fly or anything like that. It stayed, yeah. spun, spin rate was 6,500 RPMs. So regardless of whatever iron you choose, you're gonna get consistency as well. So that's yeah, what I like about them too. That's exactly what you know the better player's looking for out of an iron set is that consistency, knowing that if they put the right swing on it, it's gonna perform the way that swing should dictate the performance. So the golfer's looking for a player's iron set, the P7MB, P7MC, two terrific options from TaylorMade here in 2020. You've seen Thomas hit the shots and deliver the results. They're excellent. They feel excellent. They perform excellent. They're very consistent. If you're looking for a set to upgrade to, uh, talk to Second Swing, someone like Thomas, one of our master club fitters, either in the store or through our online team, we'll be able to help you out. Uh, Thomas, thanks again for being here today, hitting the shots. Not a problem. These are going to be great irons going forward.